Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Chris. I'm a videographer, photographer, and YouTuber. I make all sorts of videos from product reviews to demos to how to's to just me sat here talking to you guys about my experiences. If you think that would be something you're interested in long term, then please hit that subscribe button. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how you can turn any old or new Sony A series camera into a webcam. So whether you're like me and you only do a live stream every now and again, or you're a serious full-time gamer, this video is going to show you how you can use your A6000, your A6300, A6400, A6500, A6600, A7, A7 II, A7 III, A7S, A7 II, A7R, A7R II, A7R III, A7R IV, pretty much any Sony camera. I'm pretty sure it'd work with the Sony RX100 as well. I'm gonna show you how you can use any of those cameras to be your webcam. It's a really simple process and the only things you're gonna to need to get it to work are a Sony camera, you're gonna need a micro USB lead, preferably the one that came with your camera, but as long as it's a data enabled cable, it will work fine. If it's just a charging cable, it probably won't work. So just bear that in mind when you're setting this up. If it doesn't work, then try a different cable. You're gonna need two pieces of software. You're gonna need the Sony Edge Imaging software and OBS Studio. So the first thing you're going to need to do is on your camera, press the menu button, head all the way over to the tools section. It's the very last option on the right hand side. Go to the fourth option within that menu and go down to USB connection and make sure that's on PC remote. Then just plug the USB cable into the charging port on the side of your camera and plug the other end either into your PC or into your laptop. Let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you exactly what you need to do once you're there. Okay, so now we're over on the computer. You can see I've got these two pieces of software on my desktop. This is the remote imaging software from uh, Sony and it does download as a bundle, but the remote is the only thing we're interested in and you're gonna need OBS Studio. I'll put the link to both of these in the description so you can find them really easily. So if we just double click the remote logo, you can see that straight away my camera shows up. You just need to make sure your camera's powered on, you've got it connected via the right kind of USB cable, and that you're in the PC remote option within the menu. If it doesn't show up, then just try a different cable. Sometimes they can be a bit temperamental. I've had cables that should work that don't work, so just try a couple of different cables and you should have no problem at all. So if you just double click the camera name, then you can see me again. Uh, if you get to this kind of stage but you can't see yourself, make sure your camera is in manual mode. Uh, sometimes in movie mode it doesn't seem to work very well, so just pop it into manual and you shouldn't have any problem at all. And you can notice that the camera is hunting for focus quite a bit, so the first thing I do is turn off the AF and then it locks onto my face and I'm in focus and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So now that we've got that open in one window, we're going to open up OBS in another window. So we're just going to set up a very basic live stream and as you can see I've got the uh, remote imaging software on one window and we've got the OBS on another one. Um, so all I'm going to do is add a source and we're going to go for window capture and we're going to call it A6300 and then from the drop down menu we're going to select remote and now you can see me within OBS. So if I press OK, you can drag this around the screen until your heart's content. If you minimize the remote software, it freezes the image. So make sure that, I mean, you can put it behind something, you can put it behind OBS and it'll still work no problem at all, but just make sure you don't minimize it. So once you've got this source in your OBS, you can hold the Alt key and you can resize this to be whatever size you want and you can crop anything that's undesirable out of the background. You can make that a bit smaller, drag it into the corner, and now you have a perfect webcam system that's gonna work for hours on end. You don't really have to worry about it anymore. Um, it's not gonna overheat because you're not recording, um, and it's not gonna try and focus on something else. Jobs are good. So that's it, that's the end of the video. If you found it helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you gave the video a like and subscribe so you never miss another episode. Thank you again and I will see you again tomorrow.